Opening of the racket face, or the so-called waiter serve, is one of the most common mistakes when serving. And it's not easy to correct. So today I want to show you a few drills on how to correct the waiter serve and get the right serve where the racket travels on edge and then you pronate and hit the correct serve. So first thing to keep in mind is that even the pros, they open up the racket face slightly. So I'm going to show you two clips now from Roger Federer and from Joe Wilfried Songa. So take a look and you will see that even they, at some point, they open the racket face slightly up to the sky. So the racket is not perfectly on the edge through the whole swing. So maybe that will give you a little peace of mind first. Now before we go correcting the waiter serve, we have to look at the reasons. There are a couple of reasons that are intertwined together and are making this Gordian knot from which is very hard to get out. So the reasons are, here's the first reason. The first reason is mental. So why the waiter serve happen is because the player wants to make sure that they're going to hit the ball on the string. So when they toss the ball, they want to make sure that they're going to hit the ball on the strings. That also means they don't trust the pronation or they haven't worked on the pronation. When you, do, when you pronate, you're actually going on the ball with the edge for a long time and then at the last moment the racket turns correctly, right? So if you want to hit the serve that way, you have to trust the pronation. You have to trust that the last split second before the contact, the racket is going to turn. So, in order to do that, you have to work on the pronation. There is yet another reason why the waiter serve happens. And that is because we subconsciously feel or think that if we keep the racket on the edge and not open it up, we're going to hit ourselves in the head because we feel that there's no space. We're going like this on the serve and you feel, okay, the racket's going to hit me in the head. So I have to open up my wrist, my hand, and now the racket has enough space, has enough space behind me so it doesn't hit me in the head. So if you've been serving with the waiter serve for a while, you have another little problem to deal with, and that's your muscle memory. Your arm is now trained, especially the forearm is now trained, and the hand is trained to open up at the wrong moment. So when you're going for the serve, you're just going to open up and you won't even be aware of it. So the first thing you have to do is you have to teach your arm to go on the edge a lot. So the best drill I know is that you serve for a while, you just do the serve motion and you just make sure that the racket all the time travels on the edge. So in this, in this part of the serve, you're thinking edge one, so you're thinking this edge. Then you turn the racket and you're thinking this edge, so racket is going with this edge. Then you turn your shoulder and the racket goes out with the edge. So from this angle is this edge, I turn the racket, this edge, and you have to find a way to go, to make it go behind your head. You can feel like you're combing your hair, so the racket can, get, can go quite close. So this edge now, edge, and then another edge. And you can do the follow through on the right side of the body, like this. So just do the continuous motion, like this and focus on keeping the racket on the edge. You have to do this quite a lot because you have to retrain your forearm and your hand because they will want to do like this. Your hand is just going to do like this. So you'll have to really monitor your hand and make sure that you're going edge, edge, edge. The next progression of the edge swing where you follow through on the right side is to follow through on the left side but again you're going with this edge when you follow through on the right side you just go with this edge you just lead with this edge when you follow through on the left side this pronation will automatically happen here if you're thinking about this edge 
So all the time it's edge, edge here, then you just pronate and edge here. Then you take the racket out and you go again, edge here, edge here, edge here, edge here. So this is the most universal exercise that I know that helps a lot with the waiter serve. And it's going to work until you toss the ball in the air. But that's your first step. Your first step is to make it work when there's no ball. When the ball comes, your subconscious is going to fire and it's wanna, going to want to make sure that you hit the ball. So that will be another step to tackle. The next progression from the edge drill is to do the edge drill but serve only with three fingers. Because I've seen often times when I give the players this drill, they hold the racket so tight and they want to make sure that the racket goes on the edge, that they lose the main idea of the serve, which is to let the racket go to hit the ball. So try and do this with three fingers. So from this angle, you're trying to let the racket go and feel how the racket drops here in the backswing, drops behind the back, and you just turn the shoulders and you come out with the edge and you go again. So what's very important to feel is that the racket, let me show from close up. So when you're going in the back swing, your hand is used to opening up like this, but you have to teach the racket rather to go like this is to go between these two fingers. So the racket needs to drop here between these two fingers. So when you're going in the back swing, the racket needs to drop here. So you can try a few and just let the racket drop here like this. So you will feel the direction of where the racket needs to go. So when you're going in the backswing, the racket goes between the fingers so the hand can stay in this position. Otherwise your hand is going to open up like this. So when you go behind your back like this, you must feel where are these two fingers. And now you will see the reason why I don't hit myself in the head Although that's the initial fear always for the players, they feel like okay, I'm going to hit myself in the head. I won't hit myself in the head because my hand is slightly at an angle. So when I drop the racket between, in this direction, so between these two fingers, that's at a different angle. So it's not at this angle, but it's actually at this angle. So there's, there's enough space. So even if I'm going like this, there's more than enough space between the racket and my head so I can go like this but I can but I still need to drop the racket between these two fingers so that's one of the keys to feeling the difference between opening the racket face and not opening your hand and just letting the racket go in this direction One of the reasons for the waiter serve is also orienting towards the court too early. So when you're serving with the waiter serve, you're thinking very linear. You're, you're thinking, okay, I'm going to put my racket here. Here's the ball, there's the target. So you're thinking just very linear. In a more advanced serve, the path of the racket is slightly more curved. So even though I want to serve there, I'm actually accelerating this way. Most of the serve, I'm accelerating this way. So it's very important that you're aware of your desire to orient toward the court too early. So if you want to orient toward the court too early, your racket is going to open up just by itself. So you must make sure that you stay longer sideways. When you're tossing the ball, you have to stay longer sideways and you're thinking more sideways on the ball, which brings me to the next step. I highly recommend that you do a lot of slice and spin serving because when you do a slice or a spin serve, especially from this side towards the advantage side, you're not going to open up the racket so much because you're imagining hitting the ball more from the side. So you're imagining hitting the ball more like this. So when you're hitting the ball like this, you're leading with the edge. The next drill you can do to correct the waiter's serve is to try and hit the ball with the edge. So you're just serving the ball and you're trying to hit the ball on the edge. You might not hit every ball, but it's just very important that you just keep going very relaxed on the edge. And that's another way to, to combat your muscle memory that wants to open up your racket too early. So you just say, no, no, I'm going to hit the ball on the edge, hit the ball on the edge. And then the next step will be just to change your mind at the last minute. 
So hitting on the edge and then changing your mind would look something like this. I'm going to try and hit the ball on the edge first. Oh, that's a good one. One more. I'm going to try and hit the ball on the edge. Now I'm going to try and hit the ball on the edge. I'm going to try and trick myself. I'm going to try and hit the ball on the edge and just split second before I hit the ball. I'm going to allow the racket to pronate or I will pronate. So I'm going to go edge, 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 change. I'm going to go edge, 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 change. So that's another good exercise to deal with the waiter serve. Another very effective exercise to work on your waiter serve is serving by the fence. So just position yourself about two feet from the fence and do the serve. And if you do the serve correctly, you won't hit the fence. So in case of the waiter serve, when you want to open the racket face too early, you're going to hit the fence. And that's how you're going to tell very early, very quickly, what you're, if you're doing the serve correctly or incorrectly. So see if you can thread the needle, meaning thread the serve between the back and the fence into this space. There's another benefit to this exercise, and that's this one. It's going to tell you if you rotate too quickly into the serve, because again, you're going to hit the fence. So if I'm going like this, and I just rotate a little bit too early, I'm going to hit the fence. So just try and find this, the right timing when to rotate. So see if you can put the racket into this space and take it out without hitting the fence. I just want to show quickly the importance of the muscle memory. So when I serve with my right hand, I'm a right hander, then pronating on the ball is very easy. But if I try and serve with my left, then I'm very weak. I don't feel any pronation. And that's because my left forearm, left arm, has not been trained. So the information on how to do the pronation, even though I know how to do the pronation, I cannot do it because I haven't trained it. So you can see that it's very weak. I'm doing the pronation, but it's very weak compared to this side where with the pronation I can hit the ball very fast so that's why it's very important that you train the pronation you can't just you know learn it intellectually you can't just okay this is the pronation and now it's not it's gonna work it's not gonna work because it's a slightly unnatural movement you have to learn it so you have to use certain exercises to work on the pronation and that's gonna be the topic of the next video